the truth in its entirety. Notice the very first word here in verse 16, all. All. And the original Greek, uh, that word is pas, and it means every. It means all. Okay? It is inclusive of every one of all things and in everything. In other words, the Apostle Paul is saying to Timothy here, every bit of the Scripture is inspired by God. Every word, every letter. If I can't believe that all of us inspired, then what part is? Really. If I can't believe the entire Word of God, what can I believe from it? We have to accept it as a whole, not in parts. How can we base our faith on something we don't even believe is accurate or true? And what does the writer mean by the term scripture? Obviously, at the time Paul wrote this letter to Timothy, the Bible was not complete. Traditionally, when anyone in the New Testament made reference to Scripture, they were talking about the Old Testament, or at least portions of it. It was the Bible they knew that day. But I believe God is the author of all Scripture, old and new. So it would be appropriate for us to echo Paul's words. And today say, yes, all scripture. Genesis to Revelation is given by inspiration of God.